Let's dive right in. This is the fullerene edition of the free acid release, and there are a number of nice little features here. You can see that I've got a variety of different fullerenes available to use in C60 and C80 variants. Now I'm just going to hide the C80 variant collection. You can see it has it says TMS here for Trimetasphere. They are a little bit more niche. I haven't figured out a way to make a nice C70 ring or circle or buckyball yet, and so that's not here. But if you do happen to do the very surprisingly niche work of C80 fullerenes, any of these models may be useful to you. Because C60 is far more common, I'm simply going to hide that collection and we'll focus on all of these. Now you can see we've got a number of good varieties here, just a very very simple fullerene. All of these have a basic bevel just to give a nice bit of smoothness. There's one that is inset, and there's one that is punched out, and they're all labeled appropriately. Now the inset one and the punched out one are both modeled in some capacity, so they're not quite as modular as the plain one or the other two generic fullerenes. So let's actually hit Z and come into material preview and see what we're dealing with. Now every single one of these has the modifiers set up so that you can see them in place. They're all limit method angle on the bevel so that it is computationally less expensive. And every single fullerene has the same material of this nice fullerene cage. You can see the list. There is one for the carbon atoms you see here, a generic glass as well. Let's actually talk about the generic glass. Now I've set up everything as you can see from down here with screen space reflections and refraction to work out of the box in Eevee. If we were to move into rendered view, you could see right now that this does not quite look as good as material preview, but if you want to set up the HDRI for rendered, that's very, very easy to do. Usually I like to set up my models so that they tend to look pretty good with the built-in HDRIs. So obviously this is the generic forest lighting that you would have in Blender. You could also cycle to studio or sunrise or any of the other options. And because all of those come with Blender, you can actually use any of them in your rendered scene. And I'll link a tutorial in the description for that if you're interested in doing so. In terms of actually having a little bit more of a look at some of these models, you can see for the generic fullerene, all we have here is a simple particle system for the carbon atoms, exactly mapped to the number that you need, so 60. Similarly, for the 80 variants, if we were to come here, you can see this is a different particle system with 80 for the particles. The particle systems are shared for the one that has glass and the one that does not have glass, and that's simply a difference in the wireframe modifier. And so we'll go look at that right now. Let's grab this. And if we see, we have the carbon atoms, we have a wireframe. This one has a material offset of one so that the actual lines are not the same as the glass panel. So for materials, there's generic glass as the first position slot, and that makes the whole thing glass. And then the fullerene cage has a separate material, and that is driving the black lines here. The carbon atoms have their own material. They are hidden in this atom particle collection down here, and that is black. You can obviously change any of these features by simply selecting that specific object and then changing the material as you fancy. One thing worth noting about both of the glass variants is that yes, they are by default set up for EV rendering just because it's much faster. If you really want to use cycles and we switch into cycles and hit Z, you can see there's a bit of an unusual shading here, but that's very, very easy to fix. So if you come back to the modifier tabs, you'll notice there is a solidify modifier that is not visible in the viewport or in the render by default. And if you want to use cycles, simply enable those for both. And now you can see the glass is behaving the way that you would anticipate. And it's not going to interfere with the particle system or the wireframe because it's at the bottom of the stack. So I'm going to leave those disabled because I actually prefer to do all my rendering in Eevee. And you can see now that that actually looks fine pretty much right out of the box. Material preview shows you what you would get with different lighting. One thing that's worth noting is that the bevel on the two wireframed versions is actually going to be dependent on the wireframe. So if the wireframe is much larger or much smaller than this, you need to adjust the bevel accordingly. You can see the box is purple here, and it's also purple down here, and similarly for the C80 variants. So I'll grab the generic filler in here and here as well. You can see both of these are purple, and what that essentially means is that there is a driver connecting this thickness value to this bevel. So if I change this, then the bevel value is going to adjust itself automatically. When you get past a certain thickness, it's going to start looking a little bit triangular, but generally for most values that would give you a reasonable aesthetic, it's going to look good. And all of these are essentially ready to go out of the box. You could simply 
hit zero on your number pad to come to camera view or choose whichever model you actually want to focus on and pretty well hit F12 and render. I do suggest that if you want to get a bit of a nicer look like we have in material preview, then simply set up the HDR of your choice. But other than that, this is another free model, the second in our series of carbon specific constructs. And the Gumroad link is in the description, as well as the links to relevant tutorials if you're interested in how these were made or in having a little bit more flexibility for your own interest. So as always, thanks for coming out. If you found this useful, consider subscribing, sharing with your friends and colleagues so they can make use of these free assets. And until next time, you have yourselves a great old day.